Hi everybody, this is Eugene O'Loughlin and welcome to my series of short how-to videos. In this video, we're going to learn how to insert comments in our code. So let's take a look um, at a short program uh, where we're going to add three numbers together and I'd like to be able to insert some, co some comments into my code to explain what it is that I'm doing as I go along. So let me start off by just um, uh, creating three variables, x, y, and z. I'm going to assign some values to them. So I'm going to assign a value of 1 to x, uh, y I'm going to assign it a value of 2, and z I'm going to assign it a value of 3. Then what I want to do is I want to add these three numbers together. So my total is going to be assigned at a value of um, x plus y plus z. And I'm finally in line 5, I'm going to print out the result. Print uh, my variable is total. Okay, so now um, if you've got the basics of R, uh, you're probably able to read what's going on here. So you can see in the first three lines, I'm assigning values to th three variables, and line four, I'm adding these three variables together, and on line five, you can see that I'm printing the total. So that's reasonably self-explanatory. However, to illustrate how we put in some comments, I'm going to add some comments into this code here. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to insert a blank line um, before the first line of code, and the symbol that we use in R for a comment is the hashtag. So I'm going to put a hashtag here. Notice that it is in green on my screen. And I'm going to um, put in a comment here, create three variables. All right, so this is my comment. You can see all the text is displayed in green. If I try to run that line of code, nothing happens, okay? I don't get uh, any code executed um, or just moves on to the next line. After I've created the three variables, uh, I'm going to put in a comment. Um, and, and put, it, put in two lines of comments here, and I'm going to say uh, sum the three variables. Okay, it's fairly self-explanatory, but I'm putting it in anyway. Sum the three variables, which is what line seven does. And then on line eight, I'm going to put a comment in out to the right-hand side, space it out very, very well, use the hashtag and um, display result. Now, adding in comments in simple code like this is a little bit of overkill, but we are just doing this to explain what's going on. Okay, so first of all, I'm going to highlight lines 1, 2, 3, and 4, so that includes a comment and the three uh, variable assignments. So I'm going to run those. We can see in our environment, global environment, that X, Y, and Z have had values assigned to them of 1, 2, and 3. If I move down to the line, line number 5, which just has a hashtag with nothing on it, and I run that, nothing is going to happen to that. Uh, um, um, our studio has just ignored lines five and six and it has gone ahead and executed the next line. So we can see that the total value here is six because x, y, and z, one, two, and three added together will give us six. Now line eight's a little bit different in that it contains both code and a comment. So if we want to go ahead and run this line, it prints the total, which is, which is as we know, is six. But what has happened here is that um, any text after the hashtag is being ignored by the R compiler. So sometimes it's, it's nice and neat to be able to have a, um, a comment to the right-hand side of a piece of code to explain what that individual line is doing, whereas another piece of code, might, like let's say line number one here, might be a general comment about what's happening in the next section. Now this is very, very simple code. Uh, what happens when we have code that's a little bit more complicated and we might need to explain what's going on? So what I'm going to do here is I'm going, in my, in my uh, clipboard I have some uh, code already, um, already available. And so let's read lines 10, 11, 12, and 13. And we can very quickly here make out probably what's happening. Um, we are, this is a piece of code that calculates your body mass index. So a body mass index, the formula is on line 12. Uh, I'm calling the variable BMI, and it's equal to uh, the person's weight divided by their height squared. I'm multiplying height by height to get the square value there. So you can see I'm assigning the height a value of 1.82, uh, weight a value of 96.5. I've got a formula then that works out the BMI, and I'm displaying the result. But it may not be obvious to uh, um, everybody what's going on here. So I'm going to put in a comment between not row 9 and row 10. Uh, hashtag again. I'm going to put in calcul calculate BMI, that's body mass index. So the next piece of code is about calculating that. And um, for line number 11, where the height is assigned, now this is my height, uh, I am 1.82 meters tall, so I want to be sure that anybody who is using this code will use meters. So if you measure yourself in inches or feet, 
or centimeters or any or any other different measurement, um, the formula will have to change for that. So uh, for the, this particular formula, uh, to calculate body mass index, height must be inserted in meters. So 1.82 is the meters. And similarly for weight, I'm going to put in a comment in here. This weight is in kilograms. Uh, so if you weigh yourself with pounds or stones, um, uh, the formula would need to change for that. So this here is telling the programmer specifically what, ver what values should be put in here. Uh, then we've got the formula, the calculation. So I'm going to put a comment after that. So that is the calculation. And then finally, I don't need to do it, but I will just do it here for, to, to illustrate um, hashtag here to display result. So you can see on lines 10, 11, 12, 13, and 14, I have comments on each of the lines. Line 10 is entire, entirely a comment, so that's going to be ignored by the R compiler. In line 11 and subsequent lines, the code before the hashtag will be executed, uh, but the code after the hashtag is going to be ignored. So I can put whatever I want after the hashtag, and R, the R compiler will ignore it. So let me select all of this code and uh, run this and display the result. And we can see here that the um, R in the console, the code is re is, re is replicated, but the calculation is, is, is done and the BMI uh, for, in this case, my own BMI is 29.13. And you can see that all the comments have been ignored by the R compiler. So that's how you insert comments in R code. I hope you found this video useful. Thank you for your attention.